If you are looking for a cute and quirky Digimon that you would love to explore the digital world with, look no further. Among the many traits Harrismon has, he makes a great companion on different adventures. Harrismon was first introduced in Digimon Rearise, released in 2018, and he was the partner of the main protagonist. He is a child level, and we all know that the life of a Digimon doesn't start there. So let's go back two levels with Busumon, a slime Digimon with soft cotton-like fur all over the body. Only the yellow hair on the head is stiff. He's always restless without his pacifier and will cry loudly if he loses it. He inhales to inflate his body and shoots a pacifier with the air stored inside the body to intimidate the enemy. Pusumon evolves into Pusurimon, a quadrupedal lesser Digimon with yellow needles growing from the back. He's always running around enthusiastically and when he occasionally stops, he actually falls asleep on the spot. His signature move is prickly rolling, in which the fur on his body becomes hard and he curls himself in a ball, hurling at the enemy. Pusurimon evolves into Harrismon, a mammal-type Digimon with the data attribute. Harrismon's appearance is based on a hedgehog, which is also the meaning behind his name in French. He is a very curious Digimon, and when he fixates on something, he loses sight of everything else in his surroundings, but he is extremely wary, and when he feels threatened, the spikes on his head become stiff and he curls into a ball shape until the danger passes. He is very affectionate towards those he grows fond of and will show them his favorite treasures that he stashed in his fur. He's been pranked several times in the past and seems to have a habit of getting a little defensive when he sees Tailmon. The special attacks are Lightning Fur, in which he attacks the opponent by shooting needles covered in lightning, lightning and Kenzan Dive, in which he charges by curling his body into a ball. Kenzan Dive. A Kenzan, also called Spiky Frog, is a specific device used in the Japanese art of flower arrangement Ikebana for fixing the flowers in the container. The word Kenzan literally means Sword Mountain. Harrismon evolves into Philmon, a Beastman Digimon with the data attribute. Philmon has many large spikes growing from his body, he has red claws that can pierce anything, and the yellow spikes inject energy into whatever he pierces. Philmon has a laid-back personality, collects materials for his nest that are comfortable to sleep in, and searches for his favorite food. The special attacks are Lightning Stinger, in which he skewers the enemy with his spikes and injects energy into them to destroy their data. Lightning Stinger! and Crimson Slash, in which he unleashes a continuous slashing attack with the claws on both hands. Crimson Slash! Philmon evolves into Stiff Philmon, a data attribute perfect level Digimon that can only be reached by those who have trained their spikes to the limit. It is said that the hardness of the fur on his whole body is comparable to that of Red Digizoid, it is a shield that protects his body, and also a spear that boasts unparalleled offensive power. The hurricane knuckles on his hands are also his proud weapons, which are made by compressing his own hair that has fallen out to an ultra-high density. Stiff Philmon devotes himself to training every day, dreaming of the day when he will face Wergorurumon, whom he sees as a rival. The special attacks are rushing forward while spinning at high speed, slashing the enemy with his needles and hurricane knuckles, called Giga Crimson Dive. <laughs> and extending drill-shaped red spears from his entire body to annihilate multiple enemies at once, called Vermilion Vortex. Rasenmon Fury Mode is a brutal ultimate-level Digimon with nine tails, whose power of darkness became uncontrollable due to the influx of negative emotion data from others while evolving from the perfect form. He is a destroyer who surrenders himself to the power of darkness that goes out of control as soon as his evolution ends, spreading damage to the surrounding area. His ferocious personality is the result of fear of the negative emotions swirling within him and his attempt to reject these emotions that create his destructive impulses. Rasenmon Fury Mode is a beast type that has the data attribute. His name is based on the word Rasen, which means spiral in Japanese. The special attacks are Desperate Vortex, in which he stretches and contracts his large spiral tail and skewers the enemy over and over again and Predator's Bite, in which he leans on the enemy and bites directly into the opponent's Digicore. 
Also, the indiscriminate attack Spiral Hell that slashes the surrounding area while creating a tornado by rotating the blade on his wrist at high speed. There is also the true form of Rasenmon, who regained the courage to believe in himself by accepting negative emotions without fear. Having cut off the chain of negativity and being reborn, this figure has become able to completely control his rampaging power. His ferocious temper has calmed down and he has become a kind and gentle personality. During battle, he is able to store even more power by taking in the emotions of his allies as energy and Rasenmon only uses that power for what he thinks is right. Like his predecessors, he has the data attribute. His special attacks are Gyro Smash, in which he unleashes a powerful punch while rotating the blades on his arms, and Quellerize Blast, in which he creates a tornado by rotating the blades at even higher speeds and hits the enemy. A more powerful version of this attack is called Spinna's Quellerize Blast. The ace up his sleeve is the attack Spiral Vanish, in which he pierces the enemy with a giant drill, made by fusing all the spiral-shaped spikes that he ejects from his body. This attack unleashes a super powerful blow of stored emotion energy from the drill. Thank you for watching, if you liked this video, please consider supporting me on Patreon, the link is in the description below. Stay tuned for more Digimon videos. P.S. Make sure to follow my community page on YouTube, as I also post updates about upcoming videos there.